Guys, the light is about to like pop on. I've been waiting and uh, we got 997 miles. Oh wow, it's about to like beep. Oh wow, she is right on the edge, the needle. Hopefully I can go where I'm going and then come back. What I'm gonna do today is this. Can you guys see that? A little rock just hit me. So I'm gonna go see if I can replace that. <laughs> but since it's, uh, since it's close, I thought about going and make my 1,000 miles uh, mark. Wow, just two more miles. I don't know if we're gonna make it, guys. Uh, back i mean we're gonna we definitely gonna make it back but i mean i don't know but we'll see all right guys just stay tuned so i'm jumping and up and down oh wow taking off everything stop and go and i don't know this is about to like light up so I don't know if we're gonna make it to 1,000 miles without the light. Wow! I think it's so gonna close. light up right here on the on the light on the stop stop sign. Oh no! Beep! She probably about to like light up right now. Okay, no cars. Okay. Guys, um, I have an airbag light. I don't want to show you guys, but um, for some reason, there's there's been two times that this airbag show up. So I don't know, maybe there's something going on with this new uh, airbag. So we're gonna check on this. But at least no check engine light. So I'm gonna show you the full dash. But there is, oh, what, 999.0, still no light. Guys, this is awesome. We only need 9.9. .9. Come on, come on, I think we're gonna make it. I think we're going to make it to 1,000 miles. There you go, guys, uh, almost, almost, almost there. I don't know what's gonna come first. The light or the 1000? I mean, see guys, uh, this is, I mean for me it's, it's nice or it's awesome that you can do this type of mileage, you know. There you go, 1000 miles, no fuel light yet. I can say that now for sure. Now, when does this light will light up? So guys, um, we are uh, 1,003 miles. That's where the needle gauge is sitting. So um, I'm gonna cut them off. Cause I just, I just made it to the guy uh, replaced windshield. So we're gonna have a new windshield pretty soon. Wow. This cracked really easy. Wow, check it out, check it out. Wow. Wow. So anyway guys, um, stay tuned. We're gonna see how much miles guys, to, to oh, the light. I'm not gonna show the, the name because I'm gonna promote it, but guys, uh, check this out. We got a new windshield, what do you think? So thumbs up for that. There's uh, there's this guy right here that, that did it for me. I mean, we had a little issue, right? I mean, at the beginning, but we were good now. <laughs> so check it out. No, a single scratch, clean it real good. And um, we're still on the milestone with 1,000 miles. So guys, stay tuned for the next video. And um, we are gonna, I don't know. We, so we, I'm we so close for this light to to pop on <laughs> so guys uh this uh mike was uh he was pretty nice uh he always gave me a good price on, on windshield so 
you guys want to um, get a re uh, windshield replace, uh, he can sure go to your house if you're local. I mean, he can go to your house and replace it there at your parking lot. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm still watching this uh, odometer to see when I'm going to have the, um, the fuel light on. It's getting like really close. I'm pretty sure now it's going to be about to like maybe for 1,000 miles. Uh, I mean, we have done 1,004 miles. There you go. That's what we've been waiting for all the time. So, guys, we officially did it at 1,004 point, let's say 1,005 miles. Because it's only like 300 feet or 400 feet. So, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. And, um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm a happy uh, Volkswagen owner. And there you go, a thousand and five miles, you like. So let's go back home with no cracks, nice clear windshield. There you go. So stay okay, tuned guys, for uh, the next one. Uh, I did, uh, drive the car all the way back home and now that the fuel gauge is a little bit up but i drive it like three miles you can see it was five six seven what's that five six seven eight nine so four miles i drive it for like three and a half miles and um i came to my house to check um what's going on with the airbag but while i'm here i'm gonna try to see if we got any uh uh, engine codes failures or something so we got nothing let's try the airbag I'm gonna have to investigate about the airbag why because uh, this is the second time you guys can see uh, there's the airbag so light so this is the second time so I never have never happened to me with the mark 5 uh, steering wheel it, it worked fine and never had a problem but I want to see why this it keeps popping on and off or whatever. It says airbag igniter driver side N95. So resistance resistance too high. So I'm gonna have to investigate about this coat. I'm gonna try to delete delete it. I will see how long it takes to like, you know. So it says no faulty codes. Let me see coatings. Coating for the airbag? Let me see. Nah, I thought it would pop something or I don't know. Log in. Huh. Anyways, but there's nothing here, guys. Um, I did delete the airbag, so it should get off now. There you go. It disappeared not back so I'm gonna close the sweet ignition switch I'm gonna try one more time so there is the airbag light so it disappeared so now let's see if we can check uh, one more time airbags faulty coats and it says no faulty codes found. So I don't know. It's back, but it's because I um I got into VCDS. But as soon as you get off the airbag system, and it will just disappear. But I don't know. It keeps popping. I mean, this is the second time. It's not hasn't happened many times. It's only the second time. And like I don't know, like two, three weeks or four weeks. I don't know. But there it is, guys. I just want to show you guys the 1,000 mile stone. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and refill it and see how much. Because uh, I like to refill it right at the light. So I only ran uh, five more miles after the light. So, so I'm going to show you guys refill uh, it. my uh, moonshine that I prepared. 
you guys already saw the the i got this tank right here what i do is you know mix the oil and transmission together and i do you know all the stuff right here and um i put them on, on these containers you know that they um there's a line right here for every single one that it says where five gallons is so i measure this five gallons and i put them in my car so it's how i know how much uh fuel i'm putting uh, put in my car and uh how how i measure i know that this thing has like a you know like a gauge so so this is how i refill it i know i don't need to show you guys how i refilled it but uh this is how i do it and i just turn the switch on and that's it This thing is pretty fast. You guys can see. So this is how I refill. I, I don't go to the gas station, I just refill it here. So this is how I refill this. That's why I got this rack right here. So this thing has a measure thing in there. But that's how I do it guys. Just wanted to show you how I refill. So how I know I measure my uh, gallons. You see, dead on. So I'm doing this procedure right now. I'm gonna measure how much fuel I got left from the, from the, cause I put almost three of this. So five, 10, 15. I thought it would take, you know, 16. But I got left in there, so the only way to measure is I'm gonna put them right here and see how much fuel I got left. Cause I, I didn't think I put, um, you guys can see it's almost full in there. Well, it is full, so you can see it, the fuel is there now. So this is uh, how much I got left. So I'm gonna put the rest of the fuel into this uh, gallon. So I'm gonna measure how much fuel we got left right here. So I managed to put the, you guys can see where my mark is to where a regular gallon it will be. So I pass a little bit over, but I got another mark on the other side. So I went by that, but I still got fuel left in there. So since this is one gallon, it's not much, but it's like quarter or almost one eighth of the gallon. So let's, um, I'm gonna say I put 14 or 13.9. Let's say I put 13.9 gallons, almost 14. Cause we got one here complete. So that's uh, 15. Cause I put almost three of this, but this is what, um, how much I got left. So let's say 13.9, almost 14, and this is 15. Because, I mean, I can see down on the bottom, we still got more fuel left. So that will not, like, fit in this gallon. So we're going to figure out 13.9 Okay, guys, gallons. to wrap this video up, um, I'm going to do my final calculations, you know, by hand. Uh, since since uh, I just fill it up and you guys saw that it, it took 13.90 gallons almost 14 so we're gonna round it up to 14 so I find out that the, the iPad doesn't have a calculator so I had to download one but I don't know how accurate is this but you see how much miles we ran so we're gonna go a thousand and nine point one miles. One thousand zero zero nine point one. Let me see. Uh, fourteen gallons. It didn't work. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, so they it, yeah they want they want to uh, charge for that. But anyways, we got this one. I knew that will happen. 
So we're going to go 1009.1. Divided by 14 equal to 72 miles per gallon. 72 miles per gallon. I don't know how much will be if I go and do 1009.1 divided by 13.90. Equals to 72. So it doesn't really change. So that's as much as uh, 13.90 gallons. Uh, it's still 72. So let's do 1009.1 divided by 15. Let's just say I put 15. But you obviously, you obviously saw that I took one gallon something. So divided by 15. So let, let's say I put 15 gallons. This thing ran 67 miles per gallon. So not too bad, not too bad. So there you go, guys. So I just want to wrap it up the video and showing you how much, uh, how many miles I, I ran. So I already filled the car up. So I'm ready to go one more time. So the needle went all the way full. So full gauge, 100% activated. So there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna be um, can, uh, guys, doing this. Guys, I might too. found the culprit of the uh, airbag light. This bottom clip wasn't push it all the way in, and also I'm gonna solder this uh, connectors because it was like this, but I was um, easy to pull it pull it out. So this might be my problem. So that's how uh, it was. I just, um, I, I, at the beginning, I just wanted to see if it works. It did work, but I think it's this this piece right here. I got him like that, but I just um, was trying to see, um, you know. So I think this is my problem. So I did so we'll weld the, the two connectors together. This is how it goes. Also welded the ground down there. Welded, so we will see and push this one down because that was one side lift. So we will see my Mark 7 steering wheel, see if uh, it works now.